Hey guys and welcome back. So I'm going to play a particular video for you that I found quite hilarious. I mean, people were just slapping each other. It's an actual scene from a Nollywood movie that features Mike Ezuru Onye. And I just thought, wow, what are the odds that this will happen in real life? But either way, I found it quite funny. So check it out. I will slap you. You slap me. I will slap you. Yes. Me. Oh yeah, slap me now. Slap me. Ah! You sick. But did you slap me? You slap me because of this guy. Why, 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 why would you slap me? What did I do? My prince. My prince, what is the problem? <laughs> hey! Get out! Wasn't that crazy? I remember watching that video and I kept going, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Like, are the slaps going to stop anytime soon? <laughs> anyway, if you find any Nollywood antics, please, 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 and please make sure to share them with us on social media using the hashtag only in Nollywood, and I'll be sure to talk about it, okay? My name is Wani. I'm a teacher at the community school. I make sure that all the scholarships go to my students. Who asked you to touch my pot? This boy has been a curse to me. He has been a blessing that you have refused to see. Alright guys, welcome back. So the very first movie, like you just saw, that I'm going to be talking about today is titled Miss Teacher. It's a Nollywood Nigerian movie that features Chika Ike, Liz Benson and Joseph Benjamin. The movie was produced by Chika Ike herself and directed by Sarah Donald. Now, the movie talks about, it's actually an advocacy film that talks about strict children and a particular lady named Wani who took it upon herself to help these children become better versions of themselves, right? So the movie kind of surrounded her own personal struggles and how she was able to put them aside, push through, and still help these children along the way. I'm giving this movie... Three over five, yes. I mean, the idea behind it was good, but overall, I thought it ended up being an okay movie. What did I love about it? I mean, Liz Benson was in it, Chika Ike was in it, and then Joseph Benjamin. These are really, really good actors in their own right. So I loved the casting. Another thing I loved was the storyline. I thought it was quite interesting the way she took the story and tried to do something with it and tried to shed light on it. So that was actually good as well the script was actually well written it was an okay script you know you didn't have a lot going on but um i think that there could have been a lot more added to it you know but for an okay film i thought the script was okay the dialogue yeah the dialogue was okay as well um picture quality was good as well but that was pretty much what i loved about it what did i not like about it number one the sound design was bad i watched it at the cinemas and i mean my ears were aching because it was just very scratchy and very bad it wasn't crisp like it was supposed to be so sound design was bad and then chika ike overacted a lot and i'm saying a lot she had to it felt like she was trying to um compensate do you understand like she was trying to compensate for the inadequacies in uh act in uh, in the storyline and in the movie itself um if you understand what i'm trying to say so you know there was overacting on chica aka's part and then just a benjamin just seemed to be going along with the motions it didn't even it seemed like it was just joseph on that set like he didn't try to do, do too much another thing i did not like about it was the fact that the movie was directed by sir donald who happens to be chica aka's manager so let's talk about that right so Donald being Chica Ike's manager, that's not a problem. I don't have a problem with her. What I have a problem with is why she was the one who directed this film. Because Liz Benson is in it. So I've never heard of Sarah directing any other films. So how are you going to pick Sarah Donald to come direct Liz Benson? The legendary Liz Benson. I mean, I just couldn't wrap my head around it. Like, was Chika Ike trying to save cost in production? Or was she just trying to say, oh, you know, you're my friend, come do this. What, what was the inspiration behind it? I feel, I feel like if she had had um, another much better director, would have gotten more out of the movie. It was quite long and the pace was very slow. I remember they, had an, they spent an hour 
trying to lift the foundation of the movie. So at the end of the day, it was quite long and you got tired at a few places because you were just waiting for things to happen and then it wasn't happening. But at the end of the day, everyone is like, oh, yay, all is end that ends well, right? So overall, like I said, I'm giving Miss Teacher a 3 over 10, over 5, a 3 over 5. Should you watch it? Um... I think you should watch it, but I think you shouldn't have high expectations. It's just an okay movie, average, that's how I would describe it, okay? All right, so that's what I have for Miss Teacher, my very first movie review. We're going to take a quick break, and then when we come back, I'm going to have right here, sitting next to me, Nollywood actress Meg Otanua. Woo! Who must fight against culture, against passion, and against love. 